Hello. There are many ways to connect to a hosted desktop. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect through a web browser like Chrome, Edge or Safari. If you're a business that uses desktop software, then you need to know how you can access it remotely and get all the other benefits of cloud computing. Hosted desktops from your office anywhere are the way to do this, and accessing through a web browser is just one of the many ways of connecting. Let's take a look at it in action. So this is the desktop of my local PC. I simply open a browser, go to a web address, webclient.yourofficeanywhere.co.uk. I enter my username and password, if not already saved, and in the portal, I will see all the applications on my hosted desktop that are published to me. I just click once on one to start it. In the background, I'm being logged on to the company's remote desktop server, hosted and supported by your office anywhere. And then the application I want to run, in this case, Sage 50 Cloud Accounts, starts up. In this case, I've put in the username and password for the application, but not every application may need one. Now anyone who's used Sage accounts before will recognise that this looks exactly the same as the version that might be installed on their local PC. And that's because it is exactly the same, just running on a remote desktop, hosted in our data centre and presented inside a browser. As it is running on a Windows machine behind the scenes, it is also easy to interact with other Windows software installed on it, for example Microsoft Office. So the Send to Excel button in Sage fires up Microsoft Excel on the remote desktop rather than the local one. When you want to save a document, you have several choices. One option is to have a drive on the remote desktop that you and your colleague can share and save everything in there, keeping everything in one place on one platform. Another option, if you subscribe to Microsoft 365, then you can connect to folders in SharePoint or OneDrive and save documents there so that they will be available to anyone else in your organization, even if they don't use a remote desktop. In the web client, your open applications appear on the top left. If you want to open another one, then click the All Resources button to go back to the portal to start another app, such as Microsoft Word. Another ideal candidate for hosted desktops is Microsoft Access. Running Access on a remote desktop means all your colleagues can work on the same application at the same time in real time and be located anywhere in the world, just connecting over an internet connection. There really isn't a better way of running Microsoft Access in the cloud. To give yourself more working space, you can hide the browser address bar and also the web client menu bar so all your applications completely fill the screen. And you can just click this little menu button in the middle to switch between apps. When you're done, you can leave the application running, which is handy if you want to come back to something you're working on later, just close the browser. But if you're done, you can close them down, and it's good practice to close the apps and save files so that nightly backups can run properly, and also so you don't lose work if your server needs to reboot after a Windows update, for example. I hope you found that useful. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at yourofficeanywhere.co.uk or email sales at yourofficeanywhere.co.uk or simply call us on 01282 500 318. Thank you very much for watching.